a regular uh, pentagonal prism of height 60 mm and base heads 30 mm given rest on HP. A vertical face close to VP inclined at 30 degree to VP. So draw the development of truncated prism with its truncated surface inclined at 60 degree to its axis and bisecting it. Bisecting means exactly middle point we need to consider. Okay. So first I am going to draw an XY line writing V P H P and Y. So here we need to construct a, a pentagon um, by considering a 30 degree angle line with respect to that 30 degree angle line. So we need to place that our pentagonal prism. So take a reference point and mark for 30 degree and draw an angle line. Okay. So mention angle 30 degree. Okay. So here with respect to VP close to VP and inclined at 30 degree. So now edge 30 mm we have to consider. So, so take a 30 mm from the reference point. Okay. So take <coughs> protector and mark for 72, 72 degree. We know that as external angle of pentagon it is 72 degree it is. So draw a line of length 30 mm passing through that angle point. Same way we have to do it for this side also. Keep the protector in such a way that and mark for 72 degree. And draw a line of length 30 mm passing through that point. Because uh, uh, here pentagonal prism having a dimension of 30. Okay. So now take the protector and cut the arc of 30 mm. cut the arc so we have constructed a pentagon here so you can show the dimension on one side dimension of 30 mm mention the naming because it is in prism having both faces top face and the bottom face so we can mention the naming here okay so a a1 top face a b c d top face bottom face a1 b1 c1 d1 and e1 so that is not visible from the top face so now we have to find out the center of the axis so to find out the center of the axis in the prism so we need to draw the perpendicular bisectors here perpendicular bisectors so exactly passing the middle point so from all these corners so we need to draw perpendicular bisectors so perpendicular bisectors will be drawn exactly from corner to the opposite middle point opposite edge middle point we need to draw okay we get center of the axis of this pentagonal prism so now we will project it upward <coughs> okay to complete the project it upward to complete the front view of this so project draw the projection lines okay from all the ends you can draw the projection lines here uh, line of length that is 65 mm so we can 60 mm it is sorry so draw an axis for 60 mm so all the edges will be having the same length of 60 okay So you can mention the namings for the top face and the bottom face. Okay. 
can see here uh, exactly in the axis point I think missed. So axis line we get it here. Okay, that is your edge point E E1 dash. So we will dark that. Okay, now we are getting exactly O1 dash and O dash. Okay, now uh, from the now we can show the dimension dimension of 60 mm. You can show here. Now we have to consider the angle of inclination 60 degree exactly bisecting means exactly half middle point of the axis we have to consider middle of the axis middle point means if it is 60 means we should consider 30 mm we should consider exactly 30 mm okay so you can show the dimension here so now here uh, here in this question the axis will be having inclination of 60 degree that is truncated surface that is from that axis we need to consider an angle of 60 degree okay so this, uh, this here it is a tricky question okay, from that axis point truncated surface we need to consider an angle of 60 okay so little bit different so we can show the angle you can show from the axis to the truncated surface that's what the angle here so you can mention the naming now so where the section plane is cutting it okay one two three four you can mark it so with respect to these points we need to draw the development of the truncated prism here okay so you can just measure the length from the top surface so 1 1 we can cut it on a then 1 2 so from that is the, the length 2 from the b we need to cut and the length of 3 we need to cut it on c okay length of 4 we need to cut it on d and length of 5 we need to cut it on e so with the help of a compass we can measure the length and cutting the reference point so you can mention the naming 1 2 3 4 5 and 1 so now you can join all these points with the help of a scale using straight line Okay, dark uh, the truncated uh, cut portion the remain uh, cut portion we should dark it okay so that completes the problem